Welcome to this tutorial on plotting GM by ID that is transconductance over train current in cadence virtuoso using the cadence calculator. In this video, we will walk through how to generate key graphs that are essential for analog design using GM by ID method. First, we will be plotting the GM by ID versus V overdrive curve where V overdrive is calculated as VGS minus VTH. After that we will generate the GM over GTS versus GM by ID graph which helps analyze the gain in analog circuits. We will also plot the FT that is frequency versus GM by ID and then as a fourth step the product of FT and GM ID. Moving forward, we will plot the drain current ID versus GM by ID. And finally, the ID over W versus GM by ID plot, which helps in determining the required W that is width for NMOS or PMOS transistors. What sets this tutorial apart is our focus on using the cadence calculator rather than MATLAB or other software commonly seen in GM by ID tutorials. This approach provides a more integrated and efficient way to generate the necessary plots directly within cadence environment. For this demonstration, I am using the GPTK90NM process with a maximum VDD of 1 volt. And I am assuming a current source amplifier configuration without degeneration registers. The width and length of NMOS transistor are variables and we will vary the gate voltage VGS from 0 to 1 volt to observe the behavior of the device. This one is a dummy voltage dummy voltage to check the width to so in this NMOS what I have done I am taking the width as a variable and length as a variable so but what for to, cal to calculate this ID by W what we cannot do is we cannot take this variable as a parameter in calculator so what I have to do I have so I have taken another voltage source or you can take a current source and I have put the width variable as the voltage source. So whenever I will vary this voltage source means this width this voltage source will vary and I will divide that with the ID here. Now let's uh, begin with uh, our DC simulation. So first we will copy all the variables and the length uh, can be 100 nanometer and width can be 5 micro and it can be as per our choice. Let's start with the uh, DC analysis and let's save the operating point and sweep the parameters to get the required graph. By the end of this video, you will know how to use the lookup table method and adjust the transistor parameters to optimize your design. So, let's sweep the VGS from 0 to 1. We will capture the operating points for each sweep. Once that's done, we will head over to the cadence calculator and start plotting the graphs. Let's go to the calculator and 
we have to select the OS that is operating point with the SUI variables. So let me select the MOSFET NM0 and find the GM over ID. So our first graph, first plot will be GM over ID versus V over drive. To do this, we select GM ID from the operating points and put it into the buffer. Now, to plot with respect to V over drive, what we have to do? We have to go to the function panel and from function panel, we will select all and we have to find wave versus wave. And in the wave versus wave, you will find two traces, select X, X, X trace and select Y trace. So to do this, we select GM over ID from the operating points and for the X axis, we will use V over drive that is VGS minus VTS. Once applied, we get the first graph. The next we will plot GM over JDS versus GM over ID. So, by selecting GM over JDS, GM and JDS from the calculator, we can, we can get GM divided by JDS. Now, my X axis will be GM by ID and the Y axis will be GM by JDS. Now let's the, let's put the name GM over JDS versus GM over ID. Our third plot will be we'll calculate and plot frequency FT. That is uh, we have to find FUG that is frequency for unit gain, and we'll plot the graph frequency versus GM over ID. So, in the Y axis, we will select frequency. Let's put the name. After that, uh, we will multiply the FT with GM over ID and plot that as well. So, we have let's select FT or FUG that is frequency over unit gain and multiply it with GM over ID. Let's put it into the buffer and um, send, let's select the Y axis as FT into GM over ID. So, now let's change the name. For the fifth plot, we will capture ID versus GM over ID. We will go through the same process. Now, I will put the ID to the Y trace. Now, let us send it to ADL. Let us change the name to ID versus GM over ID. And finally, ID divided by W versus GM over ID. So first, I need I I need ID, and then I need the get the I need the W. So for the W, we have to use the variable voltage source to adjust the V.
now let's put it in the white dress and send it to the apply and let's get, put it into the ad here let's change the name id divided by w versus gm over id As we go through the steps, don't forget to save the operating points after running the simulation. This will ensure that the simulator captures the values for GM, FT and GTS during the sweep. Once we have all 6 plots, I will explain how to use parametric analysis to adjust the transistor length. So now we'll do the parametric analysis and change the length and we'll try to optimize the performance. For example, you will notice that as the length increases, the frequency decreases. This trade-off between gain and bandwidth is critical in analog design. So here I am changing the length from 100 nanometer to 500 nanometer and increasing each steps with 100 nanometer. So let me do the parametric analysis and here you can see we are getting the 6 graphs. Okay, we are getting the 6 graphs. GM over ID versus V over overdrive, GM versus GDS versus GM ID and also suppose this from this graph FT into GM ID. What you will know that this is the optimum value. The value are optimized for this range, this range of GM over ID. Okay, so you can see this is 100 nanometer. Similarly, this is for 200 nanometer, 300 nanometer, 400 and 500 nanometer. So as the length increases, the frequency or the speed of the circuit decreases. Okay, that we are getting from here. Also, from this one. GM over GTS, actual GM over GTS depends on the gain of the circuit or amplifier or MOSFET. So here you can see the dark, this blue one or violet one, this one is a 5 nanometer. So from here you can see as the length increases, the gain also in GM over GTS also increases. So what we know, what we know that gain into bandwidth is always constant. So if you if you circuit has more speed, then the gain will be Please. In the next part of the video, I will demonstrate how to apply these plots to optimize an amplifier design. But for now, if you are interested in seeing more content like this, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.